Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. The big news is all about crude oil as ever and the latest news that Iran is open to discussions regarding the recent production freeze that was talked about by the OPEC members. Now, what's in it for Iran? They want to get a higher quota of that production freeze. Otherwise, they're not really going to be interested. So yesterday we saw crude oil get a massive jump higher. West Texas is currently at $31. And what many commentators are talking about is the fact that the crude oil producers have rolled over in their war versus the US fracking industry. Now, that's what the crude producers always said, that it wasn't like a political battle between um, the Gulf states and, uh, and Russia and all the other nonsense. It was purely about putting the fracking companies out of business in, uh, in, in the US. And what we've seen in the last two days actually is a big, massive upswing in those fracking companies. Warren Buffett being a big investor bought at the low he must be very high today as they begin to see a lot of big gains there. Now, what is obviously putting a cap on the gains on crude oil itself is the fact that there isn't actually a deal, just that the Iranians are open to talking about what their contribution is going to be. And there obviously there is this commitment about this production freeze, which to be fair, the production levels were already at sky high levels anyway. But nevertheless, a very interesting turnaround, um, a very interesting set of developments now. And we have seen massive gains across uh, many uh, stocks in the fracking sector, and that spilled off onto other global equity markets as well. The UK 100, well, UK 100 particularly, um, getting a lot of extra traction from that news as well, because obviously we have so many oil stocks and everything else. So let's go ahead and have a look at things from a technical perspective, of course, starting off with US 30. So as you can see there, massive bearish engulfing pattern there. Breaking up towards 16,460. We just ticked our head a little bit above there. We've not had a lot of follow through so far this morning. 84% of CMC markets clients are currently short, so they're anticipating that it might that the rally might not continue. Moving on then to the UK 100, another big massive move to the top end, breaking through the, uh, that potential sloping trend line, getting close to 60,70 as a potential resistance level. 71% of CMC markets clients are currently short. Moving on to Japan 225. Look at that, we are almost at 16,384. That has been a potential resistance level for quite some time. And that's, and that's an exciting level to have, but we've not broken through it quite yet. 73% of CMC markets clients currently long. We want to break through 16,384 to then rechallenge 16,896, but that would also have to break through that 21 period SMA. We do have a bullish crossover in the MACD to be aware of as well. Moving on to dollar yen, nah, it's not really doing a huge amount. FOMC minutes last night said basically they were concerned about the, uh, the, the global financial economy, how that might spill over onto America. Basically, the dollar has flatlined across most, most major markets. Dollar yen is no exception, it's not really that exciting at all. Moving on to West Texas crude, this is where we are a little bit more excited. Look at that big move to the upside there, finishing at the top end of its range on news of that, uh, of that Iranian not really a concession. They've not agreed to anything yet, just that they all think about it. They've not said no, basically. 59% of CMC markets clients are currently long. We've broken above that 21 period SMA. Could be capped by the 55 period, uh, but nevertheless, fundamentals are a little bit more exciting going forward. Moving on to gold. Gold bounced beautifully um, on Tuesday, continued its move on Thursday, uh, on Wednesday, sorry. Thursday is not really doing a huge amount. Based on the FOMC minutes last night, I wouldn't be that, that surprised to see a little bit more interest in gold later on. I think 1191 is just an interesting springboard. Regardless if it's a time now or later, that's up for debate. Obviously, if we break down below that, you could be looking at a move towards 1131. Then finishing up with the FX pairs, you've got Euro dollar uh, slumping again lower. One spot 1105 looks to be a strategic potential level. Uh, this could be either a springboard for a move back up higher or a move lower, depending on your view. Seems to clients obviously are bearish. They've got a 59% uh, short view building. I'm finishing up there with GBP USD. Uh, not really doing a huge amount. Trading between two ranges, one spot 42.28 and one spot 43.35. If we have a quick look at the market calendar as ever, because we do like covering this in our session. Um, CPI from China, nothing really exciting. Uh, you've got unemployment claims from the US. If you're trading crude, this petroleum data inventory is gonna be important today. And then to finish things up, you've got UK retail sales, US CPI and Eurozone uh, CCI to finish it up. Nothing over the weekend. And then Monday brings you a PMI data from Germany and the Eurozone. Well, guys, that's it for me. Very good with your trading. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next. Thank you very much and goodbye.